Okay, okay, okay. Let's begin. I'm Victoria and this is the beautiful Jenna. So Hello. Jenna Hitchcock. Hello Jenna, thank you Hi. for joining us. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's fun. I'm excited. Yeah, this is channeled, guy. This is like, this is purely channeled. Jenna and I have, we've known that we'd be going to be doing something together. We just randomly live like 10 minutes away from each other. We do the same thing. We help people remember who the hell they are so they can activate and be the ripple effect in the world that we are truly choosing. So Jenna and I have put together this incredible galactic embodiment. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And we're going to guide you every second of the way. I'm not going to lie. This is powerful, right? So this is not a mind thing. This is a heart and soul thing. And what I wanted to share with you um, is to please, please be vulnerable and please share by using the chat box. Um, if you want to, if you, and if you have any questions, so we can actually get your questions at the end. So I'm going to hand you over to Jenna, uh, so she can introduce herself. I I am Jenna, as I've just been introduced. I um I really love the work that we're about to dive into, and the reason being is I spent a lot of my life disassociated from my body um, I find it very easy to be in the ether to pop out and receive information and play in the in the um, infinite quantum place and receive um, I get my channeling comes through audio so I get a lot of audio clear audience come through and I have been like that since a child and the game changer for me and the reason why I do embody work now is was when I oh sorry Gina can you unmute yourself I'm so yeah. sorry it's okay <laughs> um the game changer for me was when I landed back in my body when I felt safe enough to actually be in my body and everything kind of shifted from that and it came through a breathwork training that I did about three years ago um, and I didn't realize that I'd been disassociated from my body for about 20 years and the gratitude I felt when I felt completely at home and the wisdom that I receive now that is from within me rather than from outside of me is wild and it was just such a shift in how I be in this world how I walk in this world how I talk in this world how I connect in this world and that is the gift I am here to uh, give others now. So um, we are going to be receiving today from the galactic delicious um, ether, as well as embodying it and feeling it within our body, because I believe that the soul's language is our sensations. It's the feelings of our body. And so um, it's really allowing that to for you to be the bridge between the two, right? Connecting heaven and earth. And um yeah, my intention today is just to be loving space for you all to um, guide you into your infinite knowing within each of you um, to have a really beautiful experience. Yeah. Mm, beautiful. And the reason why this works so well, okay, so the reason why Jenna and I are doing this, and we're very particular about who we collaborate with, to be completely honest, um, and the thing is, is I've experienced Jenna, and she's experienced me, and we, can, when we're together, we can really help bridge, right, so we're talking about bridging heaven and earth, and if you've experienced Jenna's work or mine, you know that we, we do actually bring in this embodiment of the galactic, because we're here to be human beings, guys, and if you relate to being a starseed, or you feel like you want to go home when you look at the stars, then we really do require to come into the body. So one thing I love about what we're going to do is Jenna is going to be really bringing us in. Like I've got goosebumps. I know how potent she is, the space she holds. And then I'm going to be coming in with galactic light coding. Okay. So galactic light coding and light language, I'm going to tell you now before we get into the vortex is it's a different language. So if you haven't experienced light language and and I know many of you have, then you may find it at first like, whoa, you may feel a little bit of resistance. So I'm, I'm going to invite you right now to drop your barriers. 
and to open your heart. And Jenna's going to be holding this space very, very shortly. And I'm going to come through with codes. While Jenna is doing this, I'm going to be doing light codes through my hands. I'm going to be working with my delicious wand. I've actually got a couple of wands. <laughs> and I also have my beautiful rose quartz. I'm going to be working on you energetically like this. And then what will happen is I will take, not take over, but I will come in with the coding to give you this incredible gift, which is not from Jenna and I, it is from the galactic. That is where it comes from. We are holding the space for you. And please, I want you to also acknowledge that it's not just the gift that we're giving you from like from Jenna and myself and from the galactic. You are a part of this. You are a piece of this puzzle and your soul has been called here today. So Jenna and I know that whoever is here right now or listening on replay, it is always perfectly, perfectly aligned and divine. And also, um, yes, Jenna, we better tell them about the end, just in case people jump off after they feel a little bit <laughs> galactic -y. Yeah, so there will be some offerings at the end. Both Victoria and I have some things going on in our worlds at the moment that we want to invite you in and we've got some, some gifts for you. So if you want to stay and receive, stay till the very end. Mm. Clear. Mm. Yeah. We love giving away things, hence being on a free masterclass right now, right? <laughs> Yay. Okay, so does anyone have any quick questions before we begin, before Jenna opens up this beautiful space? Cool, if you do have any questions, please pop them in the chat box and we can get to them. Alrighty, so I'll hand it over to you now, my love. All right, <clears throat> so the invitation is exactly that you get to go wherever you choose within yourself it's all an invitation everything that i'm leading or guiding you within yourself invitation so take what you need and leave the rest i am not your teacher i'm not your guru i am not some master that you're learning from today you're learning from your own infinite wisdom of your bodies and if something doesn't resonate with you let it go if something does take it on it's it's really your choice this is an empowerment into your own body's wisdom and I am here to just be a space for you to to dive deep within yourself so take what you need and leave the rest you are your infinite guide you are your own wisdom you are your own guru so with that said um I'm just going to get a raise of hands of all of you here because we are going to dive into our bodies. Who is here with an open heart and an open mind and an open body to receive generously today? Beautiful. Cool. I love it. If you're on, uh, if you haven't got your camera on, I do um, invite you to put your camera on just so that we can see because we are going to do a little bit of breath work and it's good for me to just see where everyone's at so that I can I can feel more so if you haven't got your camera on I do please invite you to have it on otherwise that's cool all right so closing down our eyes together and just noticing your natural breath This breath that you have that's breathing you every moment of every day, this consciousness that breathes you even when you're not aware of it. Just noticing your breath, breathing in and out. Noticing the quality of this breath. Noticing what it feels like to receive and to surrender and let go through the exhale. And as you're breathing a little deeper into your body, allowing a little more of an active breath, you may even want to count your breath, breathing in for four, holding for four. and out for four. Just allow your breath to become really in sync with your awareness 
with your conscious awareness, noticing the subtleties, the nuances of your breath, where it takes you within yourself. Noticing any thoughts that might be arising that are trying to distract you from going deeper within your body. This guide, this inner tuition that you always have access to. Just breathe into that space. Breathe past the thoughts, allowing and acknowledging the work they are doing with you as well. And as you breathe, just start to connect the breath so there's no pause at the top or at the bottom and just breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice and gentle breath. One circular motion with your breath. So the inhalation is one half of the circle and the exhalation is the other half, allowing one full connection, this oneness, this connection that we all have to each other experience it through the breath breathing in and out and while your awareness is with this connection this connected circle of life notice where you're seated notice the connection between your body and the earth underneath you feeling supported and held as you breathe a little deeper, connecting in with connecting with the land underneath where you're seated. And I'm taking a moment to honor the ancestors of the land on which we all sit upon. I acknowledge them, I honor them for all that has been and all that will be to come. I thank them for allowing us to be here in this moment to do this work. And as we're breathing into our body, staying with that connected breath, visualizing a crystal, any kind of crystal, rose quartz, black obsidian, fluorite, whatever it is. And this crystal is going to encase all of you around a meter above, below, in front, behind, all sides. You are inside this beautiful crystal. And this crystal is only going to hold beings of the highest frequency of light. So anything that is not that can be transmuted to that or it must leave now. Creating a crystal grid between all of us, breathing deeply into our bodies. Receiving generously through this high frequency being created through your imagination, this powerful tool that we've been gifted. Visualizing yourself beaming within this crystal, the highest frequency of light being a channel, being a bridge to receive and breathing. And with the exhale, breathing out gratitude for all you dream of, all you're creating, all that you already have. Staying with that breath and feeling into the sensations of your body. What are you noticing? as you breathe into this space of light created. Knowing there is no separation between you and each of these people on this call and this crystal grid we've created between us. And breathe into that sensation of connection within your body. Where is it? You may wanna bring your hands to it just to connect a little deeper. And if it's, if it's the throat, you may want to sound out some sound. If it's in the solar plexus, you may want to move your body a little and breathe into that sensation, amplifying this connection within your body. Your movement, your sound, any emotion that wants to come up, all allow. Just breathe deeper into the body 
and feel the soul through the sensation. What's arising? Where is the consciousness of your breath leading you within? And follow that. Breathe deeper and more connected into that. Breathing in and out. Staying connected with every breath, with every sensation. What is the body's wisdom speaking to you? What is it asking of you through the breath? Allowing the breath to move you to move any sound, any emotion, to move your body and staying with your breath, allowing the awareness of any sensation, whether it's comfortable, expansive, uncomfortable, painful, allowing all of it because all of it is welcome. All of it's here for you to be loving presence for. So allow your breath and your awareness to take you where the sensation is calling you within, staying with that connected breath. Noticing the quality of the sensation arising. If there's emotion, allow. Allow it to be seen, to be felt. Feel the feeling. Allow it to come through. Allow yourself to be and open yourself up like you've never done before. Allowing yourself to feel the light codes. Allowing yourself to release the entities. Allowing yourself to be in harmony. And safe. Karima Kiramatari Murimedia Kriamatka Moimia Diama Karamatikramakara. Ya moya nariya moya tikinamari mokimi kiriyama karmiya tikramakma hi mo kareya. Maki anamati mriya makati ma ima ti murimi kimi tikriyama harimat kriya to kuma kirika. Emaria Nicomatia, Maria Mati, Aria Maikatia, Matikramatic, Maracomatic, Romatic, 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 Kari Maya Tika Maya Mati Arumatika Matium Irimati no make me at the Matika Mahati Marika Matika me no matikiri me to Mariara Matika Matika Matu Mika Matika Matika Mati Matika Maka to Marika Matika. Maria Maya Yo you meet here Matiaria Mati Ari Miki Rara Kiri Materium Matiara Hari to be a dear to make it at the Matikari Matio Maria Matika me to me to Marika Matika Matikari Matika Matika. Maria, 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 Maria,
Feel the ancestors, feel your planet, feel the earth, feel each other in this collective energy, receive, release, and be whatever it is that you require. You are so loved, you are so held, you are guided. Integrate, integrate. Receive the codes flowing to you. Shift and ignite DNA. Receive. Breathing in. And out the circle of oneness. What intentions do you have going forward for the rest of this year? What are you choosing? Who are you choosing to be in harmony? Leaving it land. Breathing and claiming what is already yours through the breath. Receiving generously all that you desire, all that you're creating, all that you dream of. And claiming it with every inhalation. Breathing out gratitude for every exhalation. Feeling the sensation arising, this feeling of heaven, being the bridge between both worlds, knowing it's all here. Feeling what that could feel like, what each day could feel like within you and breathing into that sensation. Following your body's wisdom, if there's movement, sounding, and just being with the quality of your breath, allowing it to expand you, knowing that the breath is not the air we breathe, it's the spaces and places we expand into within ourselves. So breathing into those expansion those expanded places that you may not have gone before within yourself. And receive. What is it you desire? What would you like to feel? What is your soul calling you forward into?
Beautiful. Just want you to acknowledge how much support you have in this space from the beings that are around you. You may feel more space or even less space. We've done many entity clearings in this session. And we just want to invite you to work in with the beings of light, with the earth beings, with the six goddess beings, with the orgasmic energy of shifting and changing as we invite in the chaos of change with grace, with love, with inner stillness and wisdom. You are all energies. You create the time and space in your reality. Where have you given your power away? And are you willing to call it back? To reclaim your power. And turn up their potency. Who do you be? And be willing to change every day that invitation to yourself. Allowing yourself to receive whatever it is that you desire to receive from the beings around you, from your higher self, from the moon, from the stars, from the earth, from the plants, from your ancestors, any ancestral healing that requires to be done now. Allow it to all happen with ease, grace, joy. Let it be. Kerimaka, Kiriakinika, and Mayanea, Kerarea, Nikoya, Keriakata. A blessing on your earth. A blessing on your body, a blessing on your soul experience, a blessing on your tribe. Blessing on your breath. Bringing your awareness back to where you're seated, that connection between you and the earth underneath you. This generous playground that is always giving to us, allowing us to live upon her, play upon her, receive from her, be nourished by her. Feeling the connection underneath your feet, underneath the house or the place you're in. Connecting to this earth. Going deeper down into her, beyond the dirt, the crystalline, the rocks, going deeper into her center. Taking your full awareness down, right to the center of her the hot molten center, this fire that burns within her, connecting your fire to her fire. Becoming one with her, feeling what that fire feels like, that passion within you, feeling it within her, connecting. And asking her what it is she would love to receive from you. What is this earth asking of us? In the way you speak, the way you move, 
the way you be on earth? What is her fire asking of you? And as you receive her wisdom, just bringing your breath back into a natural rhythm. And as you draw that fire up through the ground, up through the crystalline, the rocks, the dirt, up through the floor, up through your feet, feeling that light, that illumination from your feet, up your legs, your knees, through your thighs, your hips, your pelvis, your back, your spine, into your whole nervous system, up through your organs, your sternum, your rib cage, your heart space, over your clavicle, down through your arms, your elbows, your forearms, down through your wrists and your hands feeling illuminated up through your throat, your cervical spine, your jaw, your lips, your teeth, your tongue, up through the back of your head, your occipital, your ears, your eyes, your ocular area, your nose, your cheeks, being illuminated to every single strand of hair on top of your head and feeling that warmth, feeling that love from below into you. Receiving generously. Noticing any sounds in the space that you're sitting in any smells around you, just bringing your awareness back into the space that you're sitting in. You may even want to hug yourself a little. You may want to stretch out a little bit and just bringing your breath and your awareness back to your body, back to this moment right here, right now, feeling anything you need to before bringing your awareness back into the space that you sit in. And when you do open your eyes and you bring your awareness back, just focusing on something in the room that brings you joy or comfort, something that nurtures you around you in your space and just focusing on that for a moment. It might even be a person on the screen. Just bring your loving attention slowly back this moment here right now. Feeling the gratitude for the beings as you bring yourself back. It hasn't just been humans today. There has been light beings and earth beings. There's been fairies and dragons and there's been ancestors and spirit guides. Just notice what's here in your body now from when we started. And if you want, you can maybe write one word in the chat as to how you're feeling, what you just noticed in that experience. I would love just one word or you can share a little bit in the chat. I would love to see that as it looks like Victoria is pulling a card for us. So if you want to share something, you're more than welcome. It's always an invitation. You do not have to. Mm, Jessica, Jessica's saying free, Monique, light. Gaylene has goosebumps. <laughs> mm. So many delicious beings here. So while you guys are writing, I'm going, I pulled you a card. Um, thank you, Jenna. That was stunning. And thank you to all the beings. So we must acknowledge them, of course. So the card that I pulled for you guys, I'll just make sure I can see myself so you can see the card, is the Sea of Mintaka. 
I may have said that wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and this is from the beautiful deck, the Starseed Oracle. And what this is about is seeing the potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. And this is exactly, I just shuffle them right now. This is exactly what we're doing, bridging that gap between heaven and earth, you know, and this here is full of pink and blue. And this is like that beautiful balance of the masculine and the, you know, the feminine, the divine um, feminine and the most magnificent masculine energy. We have so long been in the 3D of survival. It's time now to start really bringing in these beautiful divine feminine energies, which means you may not know what shift you just went through, but having trust and faith and surrender to follow your energy and to allow yourself to be the potential that you cannot even comprehend, which means having faith and surrender and following that. So bringing all of the unconsciousness, those shadows to the light and, um, I just wanted to add in as well and being guided to tell you that this shift will not be just today, okay? Not just in this moment. Be gentle with yourself. I know I did um, some of this work with Jenna about uh, nearly two weeks ago and I'm still integrating it. So um, yeah, with the two of us together, we were both light coding you and working on you when each other weren't speaking. So um, thank you. Look at all of these amazing, amazing, wow, amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, just to add to that, you know, this is energetic work, right? And so sometimes our cognitive mind, logical mind is like, oh, that's a nice experience. Um, but we don't actually know the energetic shifts that have taken place. And our physical body is a little slower. We have density, right? So it's a little slower in frequency. And so to support your physical being, please, please get your feet out on the earth today. If you can immerse yourself in water, that would be great. Have a bath or get out in the ocean or something like getting your feet in the ocean would be really powerful. Drink plenty of water. Oh yes, Lisa, she's already on it. <laughs> um, drink lots of water because whatever's shifting and moving and releasing through the cells of your body, water is going to help flush that through the urinary tract system. So make sure you're drinking lots of water, get your feet out on the earth. Great idea to journal what just came through to you just to solidify it because it's all cool playing in the ether. It's all cool to have these experiences, but bringing them into physicality is so important. So journaling, getting that out on paper can be so potent, especially if you've got ideas coming through creation or sensation about how you want to live your life day to day. Really cool to bring that into the physical. So I really, really suggest journaling out your experience once we get off the call as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and the experience I had recently um you know I just want to share I had this experience with Jenna and I connected so deeply um to the ancestors I'm wearing my pronamu and many of you may have um actually read the email I put out about it because I was able to see ancestors to heal it um to go to the church to make peace with any of that type of stuff um, to go to the cemetery and today I'm going to this, the farm to talk to my ancestors. Um, the feelings and the intuitive hits that we get, they are legit. <laughs> just to tell you, you think it's you like, oh, I just had this strange dream or I had this random feeling or this thought or whatever it is. Now, this is actually the way we're meant to be living now is to things don't make sense, right? You want to choose something and it doesn't make sense because you're like, I can't do that because it's not in my reality. But it fucking is, okay? Everything is in your fucking reality if you're choosing it. It's about deprogramming this, um, this, this programming, <laughs> this conditioning. And we all do it. We don't get to a point where we're like, I'm so awakened, it's all done. Like we get what we require and receive at the particular time. It's always perfect. It's always perfect. And um, these experiences that we have, they just, it becomes easier and more potent as we go through, as we go through the layers. So um, 
yeah it is it is magical and it is amazing and it doesn't have to end because um we have some giveaways and offers for you guys so um i will let jenna lead with that as i sit and come back in <laughs> <laughs> beautiful yeah so um my work i didn't explain at the beginning i'm a somatic sex coach um and a trauma release breath work facilitator uh, and i also am a cacao ceremonialist so i i work a lot with embodiment work so um I have an offering at the moment, we actually start tomorrow called Reclamation of Women. I do just work with women. So you men that are on here, I apologize, not for you, but I'm glad that you got to receive today. Um, I have always worked with women. It's it's kind of just where I'm naturally drawn. And Reclamation of Women is a 16 week online initiation through the body. So we're working from the base of the body up and there'll be themes to each bouts of tension, which are also known as our energy centers, the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, we'll be going through different activations, um, which will be, you've had like a think today, they will be quite full activations. And then there's integration and embodiment work for two weeks in between each activation, it goes for 16 weeks. Um, I'm not doing any one-on-one -on -one work. I've offered some one-on-one -on -one spots to the women who are in this space with me. Um, so my offering is if you feel called to reclamation of women, you can reach out to me after this and I can send you the link for the application and more information if you have questions. And I'm offering a one-on-one -on -one session as well because you came to the masterclass and received so beautifully today. If you do choose to... Um, to lean into reclamation of women, you will receive a one on one with me, which is valued at $500. So, um, and you can have that within the 16 weeks whenever you feel called to, um, to really support you on the journey. And they are potent and they're powerful. And if you're in New Plymouth or Taranaki or New Zealand, you can have that in person if you'd like to as well, because uh, a lot of trauma release work that I do in person that um, when I do my ceremonies, I'm utilizing body work to activate anything that's stored in the body that wants to be released. And so um, doing it in person can be really potent as well so that is the offer i have for you women here um we will i think you're all in victoria's group if you would like a link to to have the application i can pop it in here and you can go and apply and then we can have a chat after that because i'll have all your details for that so i'll pop that in the chat now as well or you can reach out to me on instagram or facebook i'm totally open to that Beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, it's really interesting because we both have programs that are a bit different. Um, like I say, we do the same thing, but differently. <laughs> so it depends on what you've been called to. And that's an energetic thing, of course. So um, my, I've actually got a giveaway because if you guys know me, you know I love giveaways. I am like, I give away like, I don't know, like $10,000 worth of stuff every year just on giveaways at least. So for just showing up today, I'm doing two giveaways and I'm giving away a three card pool. So what I do, um, I am a medium. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Victoria Bond. I'm a medium. I'm a spiritual empowerment coach. I'm a business coach. Um, and yeah, I, I do a lot of different things. So, and I have a podcast, which is Relationship Blocks with Victoria Bond, which is freaking potent. So I am giving away a three card pull which means I actually like record it and send it to you so that is my first giveaway my second giveaway is going to be a light language specifically for you I channel for you again that is going to be um, recorded and sent to you to your inbox so I'm giving away these two giveaways and all I ask for you is to write about your experience today once it's all integrated in and send it to my email which is Victoria Bond Jenna if you could just pop this in that would be great Victoria Bond Halo Healing at gmail.com I can't do two things at once since I've had children. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> so Victoria Bond, halohealing at gmail.com. If you can email me, then you go into the drawer to win one of these. Okay. I would love, 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 love that. So 
my offer is I'm starting a program on Monday and it's a seven day journey. Many of you are already in it and it's called Galactic Light Coding. It is seven days. Seven days, we very similar to um, Jenna, but a little bit different. We work through the different meridians and there's a lot of galactic light coding, a lot of light language that comes through and you receive your own galactic light code sent to you as well. And we work together very intensely for a week in a Facebook group and we have Zooms every single day. Now my offer is, this is actually 777 New Zealand dollars for the week. My offer is just for showing up today, you get it for half price, which only my actual one-to-one -one clients get. So all my, all my clients, some of you are already in it and you receive half price as well, which is amazing. But if I don't know you and you're jumping on now, then you get it for 389 just for still be listening to this right now. So um, that is my gift to you. And I can send you through a link as well. You can find me on Victoria Bond or you can email me. And if you sign up today, you get it for 389 it is incredible. Thank you so much for putting that up, Jenna. And um, yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you. I would love, so please go and do that because I want to do this light coding, um, this giveaway. And I also want to do this three card pool. I am a medium and it, I love it. It is amazing. I love all this work. So thank you, Jenna, for doing this with me. It has been amazing. Um, and yeah, so we're going to hop off in a couple of moments, but we do have a little bit of space um, unless Jenna wants to say something beforehand. We've got yeah. 15 minutes. Um, so if anyone has any questions or wants to share their experience, please unmute yourself and, and share. Yeah. Once it comes out your vocals, it, 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 it helps to integrate, by the way. Yeah, any questions or anything that's coming up for you, we have a space for I'll it. just say something quickly. I'm yes. Jess. Hi, Jess. Um, so this stuff usually scares the shit out of me. Victoria knows that light language always has scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. But it makes me really nervous when I hear it. And then today, for the first time I heard Victoria talking, I could kind of understand what she was saying, but not really. But I... I got like a little glimpse of what it was actually like to actually hear it and be able to understand it. So that was amazing. Thank you. I'm excited to see what Monday brings too. Yeah. And I'm, yeah, because Jess is in galactic light coding and she was, she's one of my clients and she's like, oh my gosh, I'm like freaking out. I don't know if I can do it. And she's like, I'm joking. <laughs> and you're also, you've done magnificent mediumship as well. And you were the yeah. same there. And it's sometimes it's just the unfamiliar, like yeah. the unfamiliar is scary. It scares the shit out of me. It seriously does. But yeah, today I actually could understand a little bit about what you're saying. So that made me feel like really at ease. So I'm excited now. Not so much nervous. I don't even know. I don't know what Jenna, her opinion is on this, but I don't know if you're actually scared or if you're just kind of like excited, but it's unfair. Yeah. I think it's more, you know, like when you get nervous, excited and you get like that feeling in your tummy where, I don't know, it feels scary, but it's also reassuring. It's weird. That's a really weird feeling. I'm just weird all over. It reminds me of that um, Marianne Williamson quote. It's not, um, it's not, you know, our fears that we're scared of. It's our greatness. And light language is, um, oh, we've got some, <laughs> got some um, international signal of healing. Natalie Gonda that's on here, she calls ambulance. Um, signals an international sign of healing um, oh. and um, you know Marianne Williamson the quote is you know it's not our it's not our limitations or it's not the thing that our fear that we're scared of it's actually our greatness and light language is the highest frequency of light encoding through in a way that can be activating on the system and so you know, like light language, when you were doing it, I was on mute, but it was like activated in me. And I was like having quite deep experience during that. And um, it's light. It's the highest frequency of light, which is it was something that we're usually like close off to receiving. And this is why I've seeded throughout this, like receive generously, receive, because oftentimes we think we've got to do something to be um, worthy of receiving. We've got to do something in order to get something. And it's not true. We are infinite 
beings that are open to receiving as long as we are open to it we can receive everything and I think sometimes we're so scared of receiving so generously and receiving that light and receiving that that bigness and that greatness that we already are and it's that remembrance and I I love that I love that so much thank you so much for sharing Jess so beautiful We, we legit guys we, we're afraid of receiving because we think of the expectations of the world if I show up to my potency then do I have to give myself away because I'm aware of my superpowers and I've got a little story if it makes you feel better I when I first started I was a religious girl okay um, some of you know that I was super religious and afraid of cards and especially like these things pendulums and now I have wands and all sorts of things and one of the biggest thing that um, I realized when I could clear entities. So I've cleared you guys, we've cleared you, um, but I was doing clearings when Jenna was taking you through all of the beauty. And um, I started trying to clear every Tom, Dick and Harry. Like I was sit there for two hours when my little kids were crawling around. I was ignoring my children. I was clearing everybody in the literally the yearbook from school. Everybody I've ever known, I better go through and clear every person with this pendulum. And what I realized was, I'm worthy of having these superpowers and I don't have to give myself away or give my soul away just because I received my gifts. So if you could receive generously, like Jenna said, everything that remembering who you are, it's already within you. You're just activating the DNA. That's what we do. We're working with you to activate what's already there. And so you can receive it. Then it's your choice on what you do with it, right? You don't have to go... If you knew the end of the world was coming, you know, which many of us have these intuitive hits, would you go, I need to get on the network, I need to do this, I need to do this. No, you wouldn't. You would come into your inner stillness and trust that the soul connections would come to you. Anyone who required to come to you would. That is trust and faith and surrender. So it's all about receiving, isn't it, Jenna? Yeah, it it really is. And, you know, sometimes when we're you know investing in something so for example the galactic light clothes or reclamation of women we we see the amount of money that's going out and it's really interesting because when we are open to receiving whenever i'm investing in something like i just spent not eight or nine thousand dollars this week on a mastermind that i'm doing for the next five months and i as i was pouring it out i'm like oh it's going to receive back 10 times infinity times however that wants to look and so whenever I'm giving I'm also receiving it's it's that law of reciprocity that we live within in this in this reality there is a law of reciprocity and when we can be open to receiving when I'm giving I'm like and I'm expanding and as soon as I put that investment out open to receiving even more so and so when we're giving when we're putting out Sometimes our bucket feels like it's emptying because it's actually our mindset of thinking we're putting out, we're doing more, especially if we're mums and we have our own business and we are like giving, 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 giving. We've got this idea that like things are going like, but when we can be open to receiving, we can see that, oh, it's coming back to me always. And when we open up ourselves to receiving and receiving and receiving, we're not even noticing the giving because we're just like this rather than being like this to receiving. Can I- Is that breath? Just like you said, it's that breath, <laughs> isn't it? It's amazing. I, I know when I was investing and I know many people probably resonate with this, with this as well. And you think, but I'm not paying for this or this or this, or this. It's just for me, but I can't do that. I, I, I'm a mum or I'm a this or I'm a that. And it's like, you haven't been taught that. It doesn't mean that you're not meant to do that. I just wanted to read what Philip said. I could see the light code symbols coming down in a column of light into the crown. The codes are like keys that fit into parts of the DNA that unlock the energy of the DNA. Thank you. Do you want to become my copywriter? Because seriously, like <laughs> I couldn't have said it any better. That is incredible. Incredible. So I love this. People are saying about going and connecting to the land. It's exactly what I'm doing this afternoon. Connecting to the land. Um, I know that today is a very profound day for me. Um, not only have we had this experience, but um, Jenna knows because I received this information a couple of weeks ago before Galactic Light Cutting Coding Carding begins on Monday. 
I have to do some ancestral um, healing on the land here in Taranaki and also with my ancestors. So it's going to be a big, um, a big beautiful afternoon for me. So I invite you to do the same. I think someone said they're going to go jump in the ocean, um, go connect to the earth or animals or mm, absolutely beautiful. Yes, Julie, you do. Your throat. Absolutely. I just want to speak to that because in um, breath work, a lot of the times, you know, these vessels, when we do what the work I'm going to be doing in Reclamation of Women, when we're clearing the energy, right, when we're opening up space in our body, the last place that we usually hold is here. And so we can have a lot of energy build up in here. And that can be for many reasons. We don't really need to know why. It's literally allowing it. So sometimes during um, a trauma release session or through an experience like an activation, people will get like energy and they'll want to cough. I've had people vomit. Um, they want to massage their jaw, allow out sound. They might get angry and let out like anger because this is the place that, oh no, this isn't allowed. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. It's not allowed because we've been told like, you know, you shouldn't be angry. You can't say that. Whatever it has been that our subconscious mind knows is, oh, that's not allowed. If I do that, I'm not loved. So it holds it in. Whereas when we open and activate, these things want to come out. So if coughing, Sarah, if you notice any ickiness in this space, Julie, today, I invite you to get out on the land and like cough it out, like get your body into it and breathe into it and like spit it out, cough it out, let the energetics out because it's wanting to move. And um, sometimes it takes a little bit of work with the breath to actually be with it and bring your touch into it and love on it. It doesn't have to be a process of pain. It can be a process of, of beauty. It can be a process of letting go. And surrender and that can sometimes sound and look a bit gross I remember the first time I did breath work I was in a yogic position where I'd ended up backwards on my head and I needed to spit and I spat and it went all through my hair and it was all over me and I was but I just it was part of my process to because I'd been swallowing my truth mm. and so spitting it out coughing it out allowing it out is so potent so that we can clear space to be receiving, to be in that receiving, because when we're holding on to things, the vibration of that on a quantum level, it's quite low. It's usually like guilt and shame, which is the lowest frequency on the spectrum of emotions. And when we're holding that, we're not able to be the frequency of say the match to abundance because we are magnetizing, right? And the law of quantum physics, we the way we be in our frequency attracts everything to us so the more we can release out these things that we've held on to which is why I love embodiment work because once you release it you're this open space to receive it to be the magnet for the match that of what it is that you dream of so say if it's like uh Let's say if you're in business for yourself, I don't know if many of you are in business for yourself, but like a 10K month and the feeling that's attached to that is um, freedom. So say you want to feel that freedom now, you get into your body, you feel that freedom and sometimes there's a little icky or a little block or something that wants to move through so that the energy is a space so you can feel that freedom day to day within your body. So you're the magnetic match for that 10K to be here with you because it's the frequency that attracts the thing that you're actually desiring so yeah that was a pure channel that just went mm -hmm. I hope that makes sense so the more you can allow spit cough the better mm. unleash motherfucking unleash yourself man seriously guys like Everyone sits there and they're like, I'm in a meditation, I better not move. Like when I'm in a meditation, you should see me with Jenna. I was howling. I was hooting and howling, which is what I call it when my son is walking around screaming and his head off a mook. And I'm like, literally, I was hooting and howling and crying and snotting. And like, it sounds crazy, but I have, I'm, if you know me, I'm not that emotional. I'm a non-emotional authority and well, I'm a non-emotional solar plexus and human design, which I'm not going to go too deep into at all. Um, but that means I don't feel too much emotions when I'm by myself. So when I was in the space and bring out all of the stuff from the past and the earth and the ancestors, I was crying and crying and crying and, and going, ooh, like just like with birth. I did have no birthing. I birthed my daughter. 
with vibration and sound. And guess what? She was eight pounds six. I had no drugs. I didn't tear. I'm a tiny little person. I'm actually like really short. And I was up making cups of tea straight after because I was so connected. I didn't know what I was doing, by the way, <laughs> but I was rolling and breathing and ooh. so have a shower, have a bath, go out, do some breath work, you know, scream into the pillow, unleash yourself because we're all like, oh, we better not lose control. No, we're human beings. And like, yeah, like, so I'm, I'm asking you, you know, what would it take for you to lose control? Go and spit, like Jenna said. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just so Dancing. funny. It, yeah. Put some music on. Get in your body and dance. Dance it out. Shake it out. Move it out. Stomp it out. Like your body is your guide. Your body is your infinite wisdom. And when you when you um, release the stuff, that's when you receive the codes. That's when the light pours in. Pours in. Um, I think we're going to finish up. Is there anything that anyone hasn't said that they need to say, or it would feel like they left something off the table if they didn't say it? I just want to invite that. Even if you feel like, oh, I can't say that, or oh no, I can't lean in. I advise you, if that's your experience right now, to I invite you to uh, lean in. Otherwise, we're going to close the space. Anyone? You're welcome, Jack Gailing. I think Gailing's having issues with her mic. Mm. She was saying in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to voice note one of us afterwards, you're welcome to. If there's something you want to say, but you can't say it here because of your mic, you're more than welcome to. I'm, I'm open to that. Um, so the replay that you're very welcome, Lil. There's going to be a replay. Um, and those of you who received this through my email list, it will be up on Monday and because I don't do my own techie stuff and um also yeah we will probably put the replay up I will have a link and I'll pop it up into um into my groups it's not going to be available forever um we haven't really discussed that because this has just been a pure channel now reclamation of women is starting tomorrow galactic light coding is starting on Monday follow your gut with this. Um, I have payment plans, even though it's not a high investment, it's only 389 for anyone who's on here. Um, and of course, you can talk to Jenna about her investment if you want to reach out to find out about her 16 week um, embodiment reclamation of women. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And if you have any questions, just send me a message. I am working today so I'll be able to answer any questions um, that you have and if you want to put an application through I'll be looking at things today so I am open to reclamation of women receiving receiving whoever's left to come in I know there's a few last minute magic about to happen today so I'm just being this which mm. we all get to be and um, I just wanted to say thank you for each and every one of you because jumping on live being on camera showing up and going inward is it takes courage so i'm just yeah. celebrating your courage i'm celebrating who you are i'm celebrating your you know wisdom that showed up for you today and for you being a a space to receive it because so many people are not here doing this work right now so you guys all get to celebrate yourselves and mm. really um receive that acknowledgement really receive yourself in this moment and with that is there anything else you'd like to say before we close up victoria i was just going to do i oh, just spirit is just spirits coming in so if you're receiving information but sorry i'm not going to go into channeling the spirit right now but if you receive information from a spirit if you're getting air pops if you're getting any type of random things just lean into it and go into the space that we created today where you can just go okay i'm willing to receive i'm willing to receive i'm willing to receive i'm willing to receive with an open heart and open mind and an open soul <laughs> and that's all i want to say love you guys thank yeah. you so much yeah so let's just close our eyes to finish this off and just close up the ceremony close up the space and um, taking a nice deep breath in together collectively holding at the top acknowledging any beings of the highest frequency of light that were here today ancestors people who have left the space already just acknowledging each and every one of us for being here together and on the exhalation breathing out gratitude for ourselves for this space 
for being held so beautifully together. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you, everybody. Have a beautiful day and um, see you later. Bye.